welcome back to my channel so today I brought to you how to contour and highlight for beginners and I wanted to do this video because I know there's a lot of people that are starting to make up or wanting to know how to contour and highlight and this is my step on how to do it and hopefully you can follow along while doing it with me so if you want to see how to achieve this look please keep on watching so when I start out, I like to start out by highlighting and I'm going to use the Inflatable Pro Glow by L'Oreal. And you like to go like two or three shades below your skin tone just so you can highlight the um, dark spots and discoloration under your eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and make like a triangle like under my eye. And I like to come all the way up because you like to highlight exactly your problem area. And then I like to go on my forehead. And then we have to go really good on the nose because this is where we contour our nose. And then I like to contour my cupid's bow right here just so it can be highlighted and it's very um, pointed out. And then I like to contour my chin. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight under where I'm going to put my contour at on both sides. And then now I like to go in with my contour stick. I actually have two contour sticks, but I think this one is too light for me. And this is the Anastasia, and this is in shade Shadow. And I just think this is like just too light to be a contour stick. It's It looks really dark when I take it off like on a white towel. But I just think it's too light for my skin tone. This is the Pro Concealer by LA Girl I'm going to be using. And this is in chestnut and I like to use you like to use a darker shade just so when you're contouring you're very snatched so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this and I'm just gonna put a line right here because this is where I'm gonna be focusing on it is my cheekbone to lift them up and then I like to go right here on the side of my face because I have a rounder face so I like to work on that area more. And I'm just going to use these same process on this side. And then we're going to go onto my nose and the same line. You're going to make sure it's really straight and follow where the front of your brow is down your nose. And then going on the bridge of your nose, you're going to make like a triangle-like. So after you do that, I like to go under my lip just so when I put lipstick on, I can um, have a bigger effect of my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and do that under my lip. And now I like to go in with my damp beauty blender and then just go ahead and just blend out everything that you did. I like to start off with my highlight and that's what you're going to do first. And you're going to make sure on your highlight um, it comes close to the bridge of your nose. And I like to bring the concealer right under my nose all the way. And I also buff out what I put on my Cupid's bow. I go ahead and blend this out under two. And this is the contour that I did under my lip. So just in case it looks kind of funny, I'll go ahead and blend it out when I'm done. And then since I'm already down here, I like to finish up right here. 
and this part is just to make sure when you're done with the cream contour it looks very sharp and well finished when you're done In this part, you like to be very careful, but I like to go in with this beauty blender up here and just blend this out. And then I like to go in with the smaller beauty blender and then just really fix the bridge of my nose. And then I like to go back in with this beauty blender and I like to start on my forehead and just kind of pat it down and really blend that into your skin. And you like to make sure you're pushing it back into your hairline so everything is blended in and it looks like blended in on top basically. And then I like to go on the side of my cheekbones and with this one I'm just going to pat it down as well. But with this I like to bring it up on my cheekbones. And then to finish contouring, I like to go in with the smaller one and just work on my nose and make sure it is exactly how you want. Um, there is no way that, there's not like specific way you want your nose, but you just want to make sure it's very like straight and you can see like it's like contoured. So I like to use this small one to make sure it's work exactly what I want. Okay, so now that the cream contour is done, I like to go in with a bronzer and just to bronze up everything and just to set everything. You can use any bronzer that you want, but this is my go-to. This is the Hula by Benefit. And I like to go in with an angled brush, and this is the Sephora one, and I'm just going to go ahead and just go over all my contour. And you can do the same. And then I'm going to go ahead and just go over my nose contour with a small brush. And then on to the last step on my contouring. I like to um, just kind of brush some powder onto my face just to set all the contouring that I did and you can bake if you want but I personally don't want to so I'm going to go ahead and use my Born This Way by Too Faced translucent powder and just put it all where I highlighted my places. And then after I'm done with this part, before I do my blush and my highlight, I like to go in with a Selmara Badescu and just kind of spray it and just kind of like um, soften my makeup up and make sure it's not so ashy if I put a little bit too much um, translucent powder. And then I'm going to go in with my Becca by Chrissy and then I'm going to go ahead and 
do my blush and I'm gonna go ahead and take this color right here as my blush I'm just gonna go ahead and take a blush brush this is by Sephora and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on my cheeks I've said this in a previous video before, but whenever I put my blush on, I like to put it on the apples of my cheeks because when you smile, it's uh, visible to see up here. So I'm going to do so. And for highlight, you can apply as much as you want. It doesn't matter. Like... I like to be extra and put just a little bit more than I should, but that's just me, and you can do how much you want to do. And then on the ridge of my nose, and then on top of my cupid's bow. After I'm done, I like to go in with a beauty blender and just go over what I did just to make sure it's blended in with the makeup and not like a harsh, harsh line. And this is the end result. And my last thing to do is just spray Mari Badescu all over me. So this is the end of the video and this is how I contour and highlight. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel it will mean the world to me so if you would like to see more videos please subscribe also i am uploading more and more so you'll see more videos from me if you like to see my face so i'll see you in my next video bye, bye.